Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. For today's video guys, make sure to grab your snacks because I'm in the mood for shit chat. Like shit chat. You know what I mean? For today's video guys, I'm just going to be showing you what's inside of my daily bag. And it's going to get pretty excited because this is raw. Like I didn't fix my bag. <laughs> By the way, I hope everyone's doing good and safe during this pandemic. Please, please always be careful and always wear your mask. If you guys want to see what's inside my bag, then please keep on watching. So my bag is actually Marc Jacobs The Box 20 Shoulder Bag. It literally looks like this. I've actually made a video as well during the day. I purchased this one. I believe I got this one back last year from David Jones. It's a high-end shop in Australia. And it literally looks like this. You can adjust that one. It's kind of stunning. It's like this. Time I was also stuck between getting the camera bag from Marc Jacobs or this bag. Because way back before, camera bag from Marc Jacobs is really, really famous. They have different colors, different styles. And I really want to get that so bad, but then I was like, isn't it too small for someone like me that has a lot of stuff to carry on a daily basis? So I ended up getting this box bag, which ended up really, really good. They actually have two colors, the black one and the white one. I chose the black one because I told you I'm a really messy person. And if I choose white, it's going to be black within three days. You know what I mean? Also, the only difference that I noticed as time passed by while I'm using this bag, um, way back before when I purchased this one, this used to be really, really sturdy. I don't know, maybe because of too much exposure when it comes to sunlight. That's why the leather is kind of soft. I think I'm using it. And then, since I'm using it daily, the gold hardware are damaged as well. It's not that bad, but it's damaged. As you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see. And then, the bag itself has two zippers. There's like that. One, two. Amazing. Front part, this is where I keep my daily stuff, like my personal use. And then, at the back is where I keep my... Personal use as well, but a little bit more of like, um, I'm just gonna show you. Okay, so for the front part, I don't know if you guys can see, but it actually has a zipper, a small zipper on the inside, and it has Marc Jacobs, I don't know if you guys can see it. For the first one, I have my sunnies. It won't cover your eyes, it's just for style, you know. Do it for the love, do it for the love. The next one that I have is this small perfume. This is actually my favorite perfume that I have. This is this is actually from Bath and Bible Works and this is the Champagne Toast. Oh! I literally have to buy a smaller bottle or container and then transfer it to a small one so I can bring it anywhere. This is the only perfume that I use. This is my all-time favorite perfume. So for you guys watching, this is only your secret. Then I have a small concealer from Dark Shape Day. This is on the shade 29 and light medium. Just in case I do want some retouch because we always wear a mask nowadays and it's hard if you don't have anything. You, you never know what could happen, that the thing, you know what I mean? So. Next one I have my two favorite lip combos because I've, we're wearing masks and you, you just never know after you eat or you know retouch. I have the Dior Addict Stellar Shine the Gloss. So it literally looks like that. Ta -da, ta -da, it looks like this. Then the other one is from NARS. I believe this is their limited edition. Because when I bought this, it has a lip pencil that comes from it. And this is in the shade Bahama. And this is how it looks like. It literally looks like my lips. Shiny, glossy, healthy. Period. It actually depends on a daily basis if what am I gonna do because Whenever I do something, I always put them here on the front bar. But now that it's empty, because you guys, as you guys can see, I'm not busy. And then on the zipper. <laughs> then for the zipper one, I have my all-time favorite Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Just for retouch again. But I don't usually 
use this one because I don't have a brush that comes with it. I just keep it in my bag just in case, you know, something happens. Just never really know what can happen. I always wear this too every day underneath my eyes. And I also have, again, <laughs> pretty touch, the Fendi um, Cheeks Out blush in the shade Strawberry. This is The Bomb. Not on, guys, you should grab this one. It's actually really, really good. If you guys want me to review this one, let me know in the comment section down below. But this is one of my all-time favorite after the Nars or Asian blush. And for the back part is where I keep my everyday essentials. There you go, everyday essentials. Now we're gonna be going first with my wallet. This is not actually a wallet, this is a key card holder from Coach that I bought together same day with this bag. And then for cards, I have two Metro cards, just in case I lost one because I'm that one C. And then I also have my school ID from before in Australia. And then of course, I always, 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 always bring my license, my learner's license. This is not yet an official license because I'm too scared to drive. You know? And then for the back part, I also have the same stuff just to fill up this key card, you know what I mean? I'm not that busy person, you know what I mean? Then I also have my power bank. This power bank is wireless. Okay, I'm gonna show you. All you need to do is turn it up. You see the light? That's it. Charging. Period. Technology what? Technology who? Technology what? And then I also have my keys. I recently went to the key store because I lost my keys again. So I went there and duplicated two keys just in case. I'll put this one somewhere over this. I am so clumsy when it comes to keys, guys. And then I just put my cash in there. I don't usually use wallet or I don't usually put my cash when it comes to the key card holder because it gets so bulky like I always 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 just put coins in here like you know like small amounts of paper money and then the big ones I just keep it at the back like that I don't know it's just that I haven't been a fan of like putting it in my key card holder so far and the next one that I have here is a must to especially if I'm riding the train I always have my AirPods just in case I do want to listen to music uh, like that. And this has been this has been a lifesaver to be honest. You can actually put a lot of stuff in here. It literally looks like that. You can actually put a lot of stuff in here, but it depends on what items are you gonna bring. This is not too small. This is not too big for me. I mean, it's just the perfect size for me for an everyday um, bag. And when I tell you everyday bag, this has been with me everywhere in my whole entire life. I always bring this one. And it's just really, really convenient as well. But the only thing that I don't like is like, you know, the leather has been like really, really soft. I don't know if leather bags are literally like that. If you guys are looking for a detailed review about this bag, you can check one of my videos way back before. I think it's named Sydney Hall. And I basically showed everything, like every detail of the bag. Because it was new at that time, like you can literally see how it looks like, how it was originally formed, the colors, the quality, the texture, you can see it from there because I've explained it other things. Anyways, that is it for today's video guys. I hope you did enjoy this kind of video. If you did, please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And always remember to put your backness to the next level. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!